Hello, this is Unlock3, listening and speaking for B1. In this video, we are going to focus on listening one on page 36. The objectives are, uh, in this video, predicting content, listening for main ideas, and listening for detail. The three objectives also appeared in uh, unit one, so we are going to practice them one more time. If you look at page 36, you will see three questions. The questions, uh, the listening is about an advert for a radio program. In this radio program, you will hear a name, Robert Lee, and you will answer this question, who is Robert Lee? What's the program about? And when can you listen to this program? This listening is only 27 seconds. So listen and answer, write short answers for these questions. I'm sorry. Unit 2, 2.1. This Sunday on Book of the Week, we interview Robert Lee, a well-known anthropologist and the author of Changing Traditions in the Modern World. In this program, we will discuss his love for cultural anthropology, whether traditions are adapting to the modern world or dying out. Join us at 1 p.m. All right, so the answers are here. Robert Lee is an anthropologist. The program is about traditions in the modern world. And you can listen to this program on Sunday, 1 p.m. Before we listen, maybe we can predict what are the traditions in the modern world? What kind of traditions do you think Robert Lee is talking about in the modern world? Traditions can be, in the modern world, traditions can be about how people use their mobile phones, maybe. Traditions about traveling. Do you think this is possible? Okay. Now we are going to listen to the radio program. And this time we are going to focus on uh, listening for main ideas. Again, on page 36, you see a picture. Actually, there are six pictures. And the question is this. Which tradition in the pictures is not mentioned by the speaker? The speaker, if the speaker is, if you remember, Robert Lee. Which traditions in these pictures are not mentioned? For example, picture one is about greeting people, shaking hands. Picture two is about games, playing games. And this is a board game. Picture three, listening to the radio. Well, D is watching television. E, I think this is a card, birthday card, maybe sending cards to people. And the last one looks like cooking. This listening takes five minutes. So what is the question again? We have six pictures. Which tradition? Only one singular. Which tradition in the pictures is not mentioned by Robert Lee? Let's listen. 2.2. Welcome to this week's book review. In the studio with me is Dr. Robert Lee, professor of anthropology and the author of the best-selling book, Changing Traditions in the Modern World. First of all, could you tell us what anthropologists study and what is your own area of interest? That's a good question. Anthropology, in a general sense, is the study of humanity. I know that's not very exact. That's why we have many types of anthropology, like linguistic anthropology or social anthropology. My specialization is cultural anthropology. I study different cultures around the world and how social and political changes affect these cultures. And when did you first become interested in anthropology? I grew up in a multicultural house. 
My mother is British, and my father is Korean. Oh. They were both English teachers, so we traveled a great deal. Uh, as a child, I lived in Japan, Thailand, and Egypt. That's why I decided to study anthropology. Growing up in different cultures helps you realize that customs and traditions are often local. Mm. Things that are acceptable in one culture can be completely unacceptable in another. However, despite some differences between cultures, I've noticed that there are often more similarities than differences between people. And do traditions change? Absolutely. Customs and traditions change all the time. Some traditions die out because our way of life changes, but most traditions adapt. As I understand it, that's one of the main points of your latest book. Yes, my book is about the effect of modern technology on traditions around the world. It's well known that things such as electricity, the telephone, and television have changed our lives significantly. The introduction of these inventions into our lives has changed many of our customs. Uh, for example, in the past, families spent time playing board games or listening to the radio in the evening. These activities would deepen family relationships. Now, due to developments in technology, people spend more time interacting with other people over the Internet. Is that a bad thing? I don't think so. There are people who complain about the changes that technology has brought to our lives. Personally, I think these changes are fine. We still spend time interacting with other people, but it's not always face-to-face. -face. In your book, you discuss how technology has changed the way we celebrate important holidays. That's right. A simple example is sending cards or messages. In the past, people sent each other cards to celebrate important events, like birthdays or anniversaries. But now, more people send messages through social networking sites or by email. Another example of changing customs is holiday food. A few generations ago, people spent a lot of time and effort preparing special meals for celebrations. It was usually the women who did this. Some dishes could take up to a week to prepare, but now we don't have to work so hard. The reason for this is we have modern kitchens and supermarket food. We don't have to spend endless hours making our own butter or bread anymore. <laughs> Everything is quicker and easier now. I remember my grandmother working for days to make food. She had a huge recipe book that she got from her grandmother Everything had to be exactly as it was when she was a little girl. Mm, that's a good example of a tradition that has been replaced by technology. You can find any recipe you want on the Internet. This means that many people don't need recipe books anymore. Another thing is that many families now go out instead of cooking at home. Mm. In India, for example, families hire catering companies to provide food for weddings or special occasions. In the U.S., during Thanksgiving, which is one of the biggest celebrations there, many families go to restaurants because they don't want to spend their holidays working in the kitchen. So, people do continue their tradition of eating a special meal. They just do it in a different way. Yes. Traditions don't always die out, but customs and traditions do change and adapt to the modern world. Okay, this is the end of the listening. Um, there are six pictures again. Which tradition in the pictures is not mentioned by the speaker? There is only one, and this one is A. The speaker did not talk about handshaking or how people greet each other, but he talked about all the others. Now, let's focus on uh, details. In exercise four, on page 37, you are supposed to listen one more time and answer these six questions by choosing the best answer. There are two choices, A, B, A, B, A, B. Before you listen again, go through these six questions, read them. Maybe you will remember some of the answers because you have already listened once. 
So stop this video now, go through these answers, guess your answer and mark it on your pay, on your your uh, in your book. After that, go back to the listening, listen one more time. And when you're done, come back to check the answers. Okay, here are the answers in three, two, one. If you get these answers, you are okay. You can also go to page 204 and 205 and uh, read the tape script there to check these answers. What about how to improve your listening skills? Listening is an important skill in academic uh, studies. To improve your listening skills, subscribe to podcasts. Podcasts are radio programs on the internet. Many useful podcasts for English learners come from BBC Learning English website. So it is, there, are, there are a lot of nice podcasts from BBC. And also there are some useful podcasts from British Council. If you search for them on, on Google, you will get, their, you will get to their web pages and look through the podcasts subscribe to one of uh, a few of them and this will help you improve your listening skills so as a summary in this video we focused on three listening skills predicting content listening for main ideas and listening for detail now go to the next video to study identifying cause and effect